Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to show you how to do a Russian join for knitting. The Russian join creates a join between your two yarns that is nearly impossible to see. In this example, I have used two yarns that are different colored so that you can see where this join is happening. And in this example, you can see that it's difficult to tell where the brown yarn ends and the peach yarn begins except for the change in color. So a Russian join in knitting is really good for any projects that you need to join two of the same yarn, color yarns together, such as sweaters or shawls or scarves. The Russian join is not that great for if you are doing color work and you need to join the yarns at a very specific point in the pattern. To do the Russian join, you are going to need a darning needle, the two yarns that you are going to join together. I will be using two different colors so that you can just easily see what I am doing. And then you also might need some scissors just to clean up your work when you're done. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a tail from both of our yarns that we're going to join together. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to loop these yarns around each other. Like so. Then what we want to do is we're going to take the end of the first yarn and we are going to insert it into our needle. And while it's looped around our other yarn, we're going to take this we're going to hold the other yarn tight between our fingers. We're going to take our needle and we're going to insert it in between the plies of the yarn. And I should say the Russian join is a join that only works with multi-plied yarn. You're not going to be successful with a single ply yarn. You're also probably not going to be very successful with a novelty yarn. You really want to be doing this with a uniform yarn. So we're going to stick it in between the plies and then we're going to continue to grab plies and put them in between the plies and put them on our needle. We're just going to keep doing that, keep filling up our needle. And what you can see is that I'm going in and I'm actually going in between the plies. I'm kind of running my yarn, my, I'm running my needle underneath the yarn and inserting it in between the, the plies. I'm just going to keep doing that until I've got this needle pretty full. Now, I've got the needle pretty full. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my other yarn is at the very base, the very base of where I had been, um, where I first inserted the needle. And then I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold that other yarn there and I'm going to pull tight. So I'm going to pull all the way through. And so now I've got, so now I have the yarn scrunched up like so. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gently start unscrunching this yarn. And what I'm going to have is a yarn, is that tail of the yarn completely intertwined with my 
other yarn. Now, the goal is to not have a tail like this at the end. That can be tricky, especially when you're starting out. I don't even get that great at not having a tail. So what I end up doing is this is where I take my scissors and I come in and I actually just push this back down a little. I, I scrunch it back down. I trim and then I scrunch it back. And as I'm working, this might come out a little bit. Again, especially if you are just starting out, this part of the tail might come out and you can just trim that back in your actual knitting. So now we have the first half of the Russian twist done. Now we're going to do our other yarn and in that case, the yellow yarn. And so again, I'm going to insert the yarn into the eye of my needle. I'm going to take it and this is where I want to be really, really good about inserting my yarn, my needle into the yarn right next to my other yarn. The reason for this is because I don't want to create a hole between the two yarns. So I'm going to insert it and then again, I'm just going to pick up in between the plies. And I'm just going to do this for a decent amount. I really want to have a bunch on my needle. I do it probably 10 to 15 times. And then once I have a decent amount on my needle, I go ahead and pull the yarn through. And now I have it scrunched up here. So I am going to go ahead and just pull it out and unscrunch it. And you might have to do this a few times to get it nice and even. And again, I've got that extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually scrunch it back down. Trim that extra off and then pull it through. Again, I'm gonna have this little end and what I can do is I can try and get that off as much as possible now, or I can take it off once I'm done knitting. And that is how you do a Russian join for knitting. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to never miss a new tutorial. Thanks guys.